Yes, that's fine. Come in, come in. I might just carry on working or fiddling. Uh, I'm not quite sure because it's sort of only halfway through, but um, I think it's about things passing, moving, disappearing, capturing and disappearing. So, you know, there's like a window, there's a window through which you're seeing something, um, I think. You know, sometimes it just sort of um, develops. So that's basically the idea, and that's what I'm sort of working with at the moment. Uh, the transience of stuff, transience of life, impermanence. Uh, yeah, um, it's actually complete, not complete works of everything I've done, but it's uh, nearly 50 years of my artist life, if you like, working in creativity, working in art, design, and um, it um, follows the different, the trajectory of my work and my sort of life, and um, I, uh, well, I, it's got quite a lot of different sections. There's a process section. Fairly unusually, I think we have included how I work, how I think. So the process and um, where the paintings are, they're all over the, the world actually. And um, defined into the different groups of exhibitions I've done, most of which are about either climate change or peace, reconciliation, coexistence, diversity, etc. So it's um, it's the book <laughs> and follows my whole life. It was the time because, well it wasn't now the time, now I, I, well, I started it about 10 years ago and it's taken fully seven years to get it together. So now it's a bit late but um, I've been working for 50 years so uh, there's work all over the place. I don't know where these paintings are. A lot of people have seen some exhibitions here, not ones in London or Sydney. Ones in London have not seen the work here. So it's a way of putting it all together, archiving it, containing it, uh, and having me remember it. <laughs> so it's a, it's a sort of, um, it's a good time now because you know, time is of the essence. Time is running out for me. It's already selling in London at Egg, but we hope uh, it will be at Barefoot and at Urban Island for the moment and hopefully maybe some other places. It will be in time available online, it's possible, yeah, absolutely. America there's quite a lot of this about I've never been to Washington but there's at least 25 paintings in Washington there's a few in New York um, in LA in San Diego um, in Hawaii and um, Europe in Stockholm and a lot, lot in London actually and um, and then in uh, Dubai in um, in Addis Ababa, which is quite interesting. I'm just sort of trying to remember, I'm going, to, going through the world in my mind, and uh, the map. And then um, quite a lot in India, in Mumbai and Delhi, and Malaysia, Singapore. Um, one in Myanmar, and uh, what are the other? Oh, I'm trying to think. Australia, a lot. Yeah, because I have a, a gallery in Australia, that's how I work, and so we hope to actually take the book to Australia as well. So we launched the book really at Central St. Martins uh, because that was where I went to college, so it's where my journey, if you like, really is. My professional journey began at Central St. Martins, and it was a hugely challenging experience and uh, where I learned a certain kind of work ethic and a way of looking and a way of breaking rules and a way of thinking and so it was wonderful that they were interested in actually launching the book 
uh, there. And so it was very, very special for everyone involved. And also the book is very much, um, uh, there are two of the writers uh, writing essays for the book are in London. And one was the ex-head of Central St. Martins. And uh, the designers in London, the art directors in London. So um, it was, uh, you know, a good place to start. And also, um, it, it actually happened to be on International Women's Day, so that was also exciting. And uh, so that, that's where the book began, and it's also where my journey in art began. So it makes, it brings it round in a circle, I think. Um, it was amazing to have been invited, but I must say I was very uh, reluctant to do it because it was very, very complicated and would have involved a lot of people. And the invitation came in to last July, August, and it was for May. The, uh, the opening of the Biennale is always in May. And I just actually didn't think I could manage it, but I was persuaded by my gallerist in London. He said, no one, but no one says no to the Venice Biennale, so you've got to do it. And a couple of other people also told me, you know, you're getting a bit old, you're never going to be asked again, you've got to do it. So I thought, okay, I've got to do it. And um, it's been an amazing experience. It's wonderful that several people came to support me to do it. It wouldn't have been possible without many people and many uh, organizations support. And the experience is amazing and it's on now. It's going on now. It'll go on till the 24th of November. It's on for six months. And as Venice has 25 million visitors a year, uh, the Palazzo Bembo, where my work is on the Rialto, will expect, they expect 500,000 visitors to see the work. And it's all about unity, diversity, migration, inclusion, the breaking of boundaries. Um, and everything that's going on in the world right now and it pertains very strongly to even what happened to us uh, at, at Easter. So it was, it, actually I flew out to Venice two weeks after Easter happened. So it was very painful actually because my work was saying that. And uh, yeah, so it was very strong for everybody knowing that I'd come from Sri Lanka from where this had happened, that the work was also about it, not that you know anyone would have expected that. Yeah. Uh, I well, I can you know I can show you these. These are all unfinished, so there's some down here, and I'll show you some downstairs. You can come down and see some work down there. Um, yeah, of course, you can see anything. I mean, you can see the mess. Right? This is how I really live on a daily basis. Life in the office. So, so this works in progress. Um, this is some, uh, all the printing stuff that we had to do. You know, everything gets done a hundred times before it's actually finalized. Uh, and everyone always complains because apparently I, oh dear, I um, make it much worse because I make them do everything a hundred times over. But anyway, that's how it is, so it has to be done. Why not? The books are very, very important to me because not do I only read, but I learn a lot. Every day, every day I learn something new. Printed 750 books, but um, we sold over 100 in London. And um, I've also had to distribute some. So to various people, and a hundred went to my wonderful sponsors of my book, Rockland, Colombo Seven Gin, Colombo Number no. Seven Gin. So they have a hundred, and uh, so there's about five hundred left. Exactly. Only Colombo Number no. Seven Gin. It's their book, actually. It's not my book. It's their book, really.
and I'm incredibly grateful to them because it would have just been a nice little fantasy in my head if not for them. So it's very, very important that uh, they came in so powerfully, so strongly and have supported me so fully, really, you yeah? But, um, so you wanted to see some paintings. Uh, these, uh, actually I was going to tidy them away, but actually um, uh, they're waiting to go to the framer. So I thought, oh, well, you know what? I can't put them away again. And so there, as you can see, the whole place is devoted to art. So there, there are all these uh, paintings that uh, are available. Some are older, some are prints. Um, over here, you have um, a, a sample. As I told you, I do a lot of sampling. And this is a sample piece of work we did for the Fairway Colombo. This is in the lobby. The whole of the Fairway Colombo has only my work in every bedroom, on every corridor. These are some of my catalogs. from various exhibitions. Uh, the, the book is interesting because it does have two uh, like biographical sections as well as three essays that are more critical, art critical. And um, so this is about, these are some images from my childhood, from my family, my life, and then, uh, yeah, charting my years ahead, whatever. And that's um, the Vogue cover. That was my first piece of work that I ever did. I was still doing my MA, and uh, I was asked to design this, which then ended up the fabric. I designed the fabric only, and it ended up on the cover of Vogue. And it's photographed by David Bailey, who was an iconic 1960s, 70s photographer. That's, that's me in it. And that's me un unrecognizable, I know. <laughs> that's my school friends. So, um, so there's that sort of section. And then uh, if we go back into it, the, uh, this section describes paintings, uh, the way I work, my sketchbooks, some description of how I work, the studio. See, apart from your footage, nobody would have seen all that. Yes, very much, lots of things. Uh, a lot of which actually sort of which informs my art because I do a lot of traveling. I love seeing new places. I love seeing anything new. I love the wild. I'm very much into any form of nature, which is, which is wild. I think you can see nature creeping into this house at every point. And um, so, uh, swimming. And uh, I'm really into movies, drama, dance, everything that's sort of, all the other forms of creativity, if you like, and reading, writing, you know, all these things. But they, they really actually are very vital also to my work. I don't see it as um, separate to the art because it's an experience in some amazing place that really then kickstarts maybe an exhibition. So those sort of uh, things are the other things I kind of enjoy doing. I'm not that good at parties and socializing and dinner parties, no. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's more the kind of um, variety uh, of things that interest me are the, is the cultural life, as well as other countries, other people in, in, in wild places, and yeah, nature. <laughs>